the Graplock line, water typing. Both Pokemon have clear inspirations from octopuses, if their designs weren't obvious, as well as both their English and Japanese names, and octopuses are known to inhabit oceans, which is reflected in where you can find them, both in the course of his games, such as Route 9, with Graplock explicitly appearing as a wandering Pokemon that swims in the water on that route, Westlake Axwell, and Loop Lagoon, both in the water or near water. And this fact is reflected in both their dex entries with Clobopus coming onto land for food, implying that it lives in the sea when it's not hungry, and with Graplock blatantly noted for returning to the sea after a battle, implying that both naturally inhabit the sea. Plus, this may explain why they can learn a great amount of water time moves already, including Surf, Dive, and Soak. Hatina and Hatchroom Fairy Typing for Hatterini to be part fairy, and not these two, kind of baffles me, as this line is a part of the fairy egg group, which is known to contain petite, cute, and house's female-only evolutionary lines, which for those two fits in-universe with fairy-type Pokemon that I'll explain shortly. Another point is that this line is regarded as a counterpart to the Grimmsnarl line, which are all part fairy, a part of the fairy egg group, and are based off their respective European mythology and folklore but not these two. Also within their dex entries, they are mentioned as being peaceful and calm like in their Pokemon category, and are able to sense the emotions from others, which can be considered a characteristic of fairy type Pokemon if you consider pure fairy Pokemon like Sylveon, and partial ones like Togekiss and Ralts who can do that as well. And to top it all off, they can even learn a fair amount of fairy type moves already, such as Charm, Misty Terrain, and Aromatic Mist. Perzerker, dog typing. As indicated by its Japanese name, German name, and Korean name, it has a connection to Vikings from the Scandinavia region, who can be interpreted as piratical heathens for their violence, raiding, and pirating throughout parts of Europe. And this is even reflected in Perzerker's deck entries and design, who after many battles have developed a violent and barbaric demeanor who lives for the thrill of battle. There was even an episode where it was the leader of a group of wild Galarian Meowth who stole food and objects from people and Pokemon for themselves. This could also explain why it learns a good amount of dark type moves already, as well for a non dark type Pokemon. The Galarian Cursula line, water typing. It's still noted by its Pokemon category, name etymology, and official design to still be rooted in coral, more specifically, bleached coral that predominantly is associated with the ocean and takes place within the water when temperatures drastically change. And this is reflected in where it can be found in the games near water like Giant's Mirror and South Lake Mylock to name a few. And interestingly enough, the official Pokemon website outright confirms that this form of Corsola arose from living in the seas or seabeds of the Gala region in the ancient past, which is also indicated in Galarian Corsola's dex entries in the games and anime too, and considering Corsola evolves from this form, it may be arguable to say that this may also apply to it as well, All this may be why it is still a part of the Water 1 and 3 egg groups, implying it can live both on land or in aquatic locations, and why it can still learn a fair amount of water type moves. Pin Churchin, Water Typing as indicated by its Pokemon category and name etymologies, it's based off sea urchins, especially the burrowing urchin, which of course are known for inhabiting reefs in tropical oceans and shallow waters. In fact, this is even reflected in the games where it can be found in the Gala region in the Frigid Sea, and nearby water such as Loop Lagoon, Courageous Cavern, Route 9, and beach areas in Paldia like East Province Area 2, you get the idea. Even in the anime series Pokemon Twilight Wings, they can be seen being residents of a lake. Its text entries even mentions that it feeds off seaweed, which is typically found in oceans, rivers, and lakes, and this may even explain why it is a part of the Water 1 egg group, a group known to contain Pokemon who are amphibian in nature, and learned a decent amount of water type moves already, including Surf and Water Gun. Standard Galarian Darmanitan, Fighting Typing 
So to explain the reasoning for this, I will direct your attention towards its deck entry, stating how it uses its strong physicality to make strong punches, which is one of its main offensive powers. This could be why it can learn a plethora of fighting type moves, and its high stat is its attack stat, just like other fighting type Pokemon. And this can be in due to how their origins are likely from baboons, gorillas, or orangutans, as noted in its name etymology, who are known for being physically powerful fighters, and also including the name Macho for the same reason. And the infamous Bodhisattva, a legendary monk known for spreading Buddhism to China during the 5th and 6th century, and possibly the creator of Shaolin Kung Fu as he began his physical training. So there definitely is some fighting associations with this inspiration. Personally, I don't think this type would work for the Zen mode as it already has a more suitable type to fit it in my opinion. Eskew, Water Typing as indicated by its Pokemon category and name etymologies in German and Chinese, it's based off penguins, <clears throat> just like another certain line, particularly sharing common behaviors with the Great Ark, who were known as powerful swimmers in the ocean. Although its text entries seem to say otherwise, calling it a poor swimmer, and more so rides the ocean currents for mobility, which was stated on the official Pokemon website and shown in the anime by the way, However, that doesn't stop it from learning a decent amount of water type moves already, like surf and dive, unironically, and also being a part of the Water 1 air group that houses Pokemon that can traverse and live both on land and in water, all of which is reflected in where it can be found in the anime and games like the Lake of Outrage, the Frigid Sea, and in ocean and beach spawn biomes in Paldia like the North Paldian Sea for example. Glacetria and Spectria, Dark Typing Both are surprisingly nihilistic when you really look into them. For example, in Glacetria's Dex entry and what is said about it on the official Pokemon website, it is a belligerent Pokemon, in other words, an aggressive and selfish Pokemon who takes what it wants by force. And in a similar manner for Spectria, it's stated to prey and seal the life force of sleeping Pokemon. And this is even reflected in the games where the player interacts with Calyrex. All this could stem from their behavior being inspired by the Poka, a creature from Celtic folklore who was known for being evil and mischief towards humans. There was also the connotations to two of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, the white horseman of conquest who had a belligerent nature, and the black horse of famine for Spectria who was personified as death and also had the ability to absorb the life force of other living creatures too. In addition, Spectria in particular may also reference the mare from Germanic and Slavonic folklore that was noted as a sleep demon and the causation of nightmares. Plus, this might explain why for non-Dark-type Pokemon, both can learn a good amount of Dark-type moves such as Lash Out, so I'd say it would be a very fitting type for both, and also is respectively why Ice Rider and Shadow Rider Calyrex should be this typing too.